Hello, so today I just wanted to share from John 17 and it's a passage that really speaks on unity. Um, it's, it's in the context of the Last Supper and yeah, Jesus is speaking to his disciples and he's really calling them to become one. He calls us to be one even as him and the Father are one. And so, yeah, I think this is a really profound statement because it goes on to say, so that the world may believe. And so I think this is very encouraging for me to see that, yeah, as the church becomes one, as, as we become one, as we really are one because we're one body in Christ, as we live out that reality, then that's in itself as a testimony to the world. And I think the reason for that is because God is one. God is, God is one. That's a very essence of who he is. He, that Jesus is in the Father and the Father is in him. And now because of what Jesus has done for us, we are now in Christ and he's in us as well. And so we've been called into the oneness that God is. And so as we live out that oneness, then that in itself is very effective for mission. Mission from this John 17 is, is through the oneness that we have so that the world may believe. And so mission comes through oneness, through unity, through unity even in the midst of differences and disagreements, um, to still maintain the unity of the spirit that God is calling us to. And that in itself is a greater testimony than a perfect technique of evangelism or um, a, a mission, missionary in a, in a certain country who's very gifted. It's the, the most effective missionaries are the ones where they're united as a church. Those, those missionaries are far more effective than just one individual being plopped into a random foreign country by himself. And so, yeah, I think that's not to in any way, like I'm big on mission, I'm big on missionaries. And I think that we should all be passionate about missionaries and want to support them. But I think, yeah, we, we need to have a, maybe a reframing of the way we see mission as not primarily a gifted evangelist going out into a foreign country, but more the church being one and then participating in God's mission together. And so, yeah, I think um, another thing I wanted to share is that we actually already are one in Christ, we're one body, and it's easy to live as if we're not. We live in disunity, we gossip, we slander, we, we, when someone annoys us, we push them away. And so it's very easy to live in disunity and to speak badly of one another even though we're brothers and sisters in Christ it's very easy to just hang out with those who we who are more comfortable or easy to hang out with and that's not a great testimony to the world this unity is something that can only come through through God and through knowing him and through knowing his love for us only then can we love others with that same sacrificial love and so yeah I just want to encourage you to rely on God to pray to God as Jesus prayed to the Father um, that we may be one and also to yeah to try and practice that unity that we really have in Christ to tr practice living that out to find someone you can encourage this week and yeah I hope you enjoyed this Tommy Truths I will be making a song on unity very soon so definitely um, keep your ears peeled for that it'll be coming out in a couple of weeks and yeah God bless guys and I'll see you next time